I'm an air traffic controller in Vegas. Playing the gaming tables here was mistaken enough. But suddenly my job was involved. And the game became murder. Listen to it here on Theater 5 in a story called Odds on the Tower. <laughs> Contact departure control. Frequency 121.1. Airport tower, Dunder 31, ready. Roger 31. Up to and hold short of runway. 991, clear to land four right. Airport tower, Griffin 245, over North Las Vegas. Request landing instructions. Roger, Griffin. Report to the outer market. Sure got some rain down there. Centaur 40, requesting permission to take off. Hold 40. Combine 346, past the Traverse A on your left. Down to 31, prepare to take off, four left. Airport Tower, Griffin 245, on the outer marker, am I on course? 290, Griffin, on course. Clear to land, four left. Frank, 31 is on four left. Griffin, pull up. 31, hold, take off, hold. Where is he? Pull up, Griffin, pull up! Thanks for the lift, Charlie. It's been a rough day. Mm. You worried about something, Frank? Uh, no, why? I don't know. That was close back at the tower. They almost ran up the crash gear. Uh, uh, let me out here, will you, Charlie? I can run you home. No, no, I got to see somebody. Thanks a lot. Good night. Thank you, Beth. Thank you, Beth. You. Wanted to see me, is that right? Oh, yes, yes, Frank. Come in. Some weather, huh? Must be a headache on your job. Pretty rough. Oh, uh, you know Hugo here? No. One of my collectors. Oh. How are you? Hugo doesn't say much. He can't. Something happened to his tongue a couple of years ago. Oh. Well, Frankie boy, I guess you know why I asked you down, huh? I, I, I know, Mr. Benedict, but... <laughs> You, you've got to give me a couple of more weeks. Oh, 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 now, Frank. I don't have to give you anything. I've been nice enough waiting this long. Well, that's true. But... I'll give it to you straight, Frank. We're both in trouble. You? Yeah. A couple of the boys in the Eastern Combine are coming to Vegas. You see, they want to look at my books. The fact is, I owe them a bundle, so I'm calling in my debt, you see? I see. Know anything about the syndicate, Frank? Mm, no. Well, there's two ways they collect. Alive and dead. First, we only cost money. So you and I got to get on a horse, Frank. You know what I mean? 6,000, Frank. I got to have it next Friday. All right, Mr. Benedict. You go. See, he gets out okay. <laughs> Joe Benedict, you're an honest man. So, just like you said. What he owes, he owes. Joey knows that. But what I like, Vince, you don't try to foul up the auditors. The shortage is right there in the books, you know. A debt to debt, Mr. Coster, and I owe. Like I say, that's honest. I like that. Only thing, Joey, receipts are way off. Way off, Joey. 180000 I'm raising it, Mr. Coster. You do that, Joey boy. There's a board meeting in New York tomorrow. Vince and I got to go back for it. Now, what will I tell the directors? You'll have it in a week, five days? Well, uh, a week. Tell them a week. Good boy. Me and Vince, we'll be back here Friday. You'll have it Friday, right? Uh, yes. So long, Hugo. Now, you forget about him? He can't talk. Frank. What what are you doing here? Look, I, I, I told you I'd get it, Mr. Benedict. That was a long time ago. I'm trying. I'm trying. How much did you raise? Two thousand. 
You're not going to make it, are you? Give me time. I've got none to give, Frank. And neither have you. And we've got to have a talk, Frank. Maybe there's a way we can get out of this, both of us. How? We get rid of them. What? I should say you get rid of them. Well, you're crazy. How? Frank, how... they fly a private plane at Juno X. Oh. Now, just a minute. No that more is... minutes. Your time is up. You put them on a crash course, you see. That way we clear it up. And that way we both stay alive. How can I do that? Nobody crashes a plane because I say so. Maybe not, but you could talk them into a jet collision easy enough. Crash a plane of passengers? I can't do it. Look, you, don't give me speeches. Even Understand? if I tried, those jet pilots know their jobs. They can see what's coming up. Oh, in bad weather, too? I can't order a bad day when the syndicate decides to fly in. But I can call them in the next bad day that comes up. All I got to do is say I got their money. And all I need is more time, Frank, more time. I can't do it. It'd be murder. Oh. All right, you go. No. No, 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 no. Wait. T -t Tell him to put it away. Oh, that's better, Frank. What we got to do now, we got to keep an eye on the forecast. Right? Yeah, but you'll have to let me decide what day. Good. Let's go, you go. Hello? What's the weather tomorrow, Frank? Listen, Benedict, you've got to leave me alone. I said I had to pick my own day. Time, Frank. Don't forget time. Stop calling me every hour. I said I'd let you know. Well, oh. hello, Frank. What are you two doing in my apartment? It's raining. I know it's raining. Look at the forecast. Tonight and tomorrow, fog. Tomorrow night. Well, well, we'll have to wait and see. We're through waiting, Frankie, my boy. They're flying in tomorrow night. I call them. Now, you do this tomorrow, or it's going to be the last night you see. Sometime 70. Report to the outer marker. Roger, Fairport Tower. Combine 540, move up behind. Follow Traverse A8, coming up. Fairport Tower, Juno X 742, requesting permission to land. Say again, sir. Juno X 742, request permission to land. Juno X 42, hold at 112.9. Landing instructions will follow. Roger, Fairport. Can you talk me in? It's mud up here. Can do. Sometime 70, approaching the inner marker. Am I on course? There's uh, ground traffic here sometimes. Pull up for new approach. What's the matter with you, Frank? A Juno X-742. Report to the inner marker. 742, roger. Frank, sometimes at 2.30 on the marker. Call off the Juno. Juno X-742, stay on the marker. Steady left. Frank, Frank. Sometime, correct to four right. It's a crash course, Frank. Call them off. Juno, pull up. Pull up. Correct to left, sometime. Drop the ball, Hugo. It's Coster and Bondi. You know, I get sad about these things. That poor boy in the tower up there. Now he's got to go. Okay, let's get it done. Boy, pull over! Get him, you go! Grab him! 
Hey, you there, sir, boy. Oh. No, don't use that, you know. Give him a call over first. Now, wait a minute, Benedict. You got to listen Too to me. Too bad, it. Frankie uh. boy. That's the way it falls. All right, you go. Go ahead. Uh. All right. Now, hit him where it won't show. Oh. No, 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 no. Don't hit him on the face. The stomach. No. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. Hard up, you go. Knock it off, enough. You gotta leave him in shape for his last chance. Now turn his head. Hey, hey, you, you Frankie, you hear me? Last chance. When they fly out, see? If you don't get them going out, nothing's ever gonna hurt you again. Seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred. How much is that, Vince? One hundred and twenty-two thousand. Well, uh, like I said, it's going to be a little short, Mister Costa, but I'll get the rest to you. Ah, we know that, Joey. My credits are still coming in. Relax. Seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred. One hundred twenty-three thousand, Harry. <laughs> Joey boy's worried about a couple of thousand. Tell him what it means to be worried, Vince. You mean uh, coming in? <laughs> I thought we were going out. Yeah, close call, all right. Hundred and twenty-four thousand. You know any of those uh, tower boys, Joey? Uh, no, no. I trust my life to him. Thing like that wouldn't happen again in a million years, you know. Hundred and twenty-five, Vince. Bring the rest, Joe. Well, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So the debts come in. Now, Joey, <laughs> I thought you said you was a little short. That's fifty-five thousand. Well, uh, I'll get the rest to you by air messenger tomorrow. What do you think, Vince? Be okay with the board? Joey's responsible. Always has been. 24 hours, Joey? You'll have it in New York tomorrow. I got my deal firmed up solid. Okay, Joey. I'll phone the organization. Go ahead. I got to confirm the time for my deal. Frankie, Joe Benedict. What do you want? You know what I want. They're leaving tonight, Frank. Now, you cost me a bundle already. They want 55000 more. How are you feeling? Great. Put them on that crash course, Frank, or like I said, you won't be feeling anything. Are you listening? I hear you. Now, look. It's still raining, Frank. You do it tonight, boy. Last chance. You muff it, and you're done. All right, Mr. Benedict. For sure. Fix up the time, Joey? Uh, yes, yes. Guaranteed tomorrow. Uh, I'm sorry you went to the trouble. Huh? The directors back there had a meeting. Policy, you know. Anyway, they want the last dime. <laughs> a bunch of Shylocks. So, you got to fly back with us, Joey. What? They want an explanation tonight. Tonight? Me? New York? What's the matter? You afraid of a little rain? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, uh, I uh, gotta make some calls, that's all. Give me an hour, okay? Okay, nobody's pushing you. Relax. <laughs> He's not there yet. Now, listen, Hugo. You get out there where he lives. Look in all the drugstores, you see? Find him, understand? Tell him the crash is off. The crash is off. Tell him to forget it. Here, here, take this note. Hand it to him. Make him understand it's off. How much longer are you going to be, Joey? Oh, well, not long. Not long. Hugo's doing a little business for me. Uh, go on, Hugo. Hurry it up now. You worried about something, Joey? Uh, those people got to know I'm going, that's all. Well, you could be back tomorrow. The weather's pretty bad out there, Mr. Coster. Maybe we ought to wait for it to clear a bit. <laughs> No pilot's better than Vince Bondi. He flew in the war, you know. But you had trouble coming in. Like Vince said, that's never going to happen in a million years. What do you mean you couldn't find him? Now, you go to all those stores, Hugo. You go to his apartment. Yeah. 
Yeah, that does it. If he's already in the tower, we can't get through to him. Get out to the airport. Yeah. Stop him before he gets in. Hugo. There's a grand if you get him in time. Hello, Hugo. He's still running errands, Joey. Last minute stuff. Well, we got no more time, Joey. The boys in New York want us back right away. Uh, now? Now. Go on, Hugo. Do what I told you. Go on. Come down, eh? You really gonna fly out in this stuff? We gotta get back, Joey. But, but look at it. Can't see ten yards ahead of the car. Local stuff. We'll fly out of it. Oh, that's crazy. What's a couple of hours anyway? We ought to wait, see if it clears. What are you so worried about? You've got time. This is just asking for it, flying out now. No, 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 no. I, 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 I won't fly in this stuff. You'll fly how we tell you, Joey. What's the rush? Now take time and be safe. You're safer in a plane than a car, Joey boy. Roger Tarpin. Right. To the outer in world. the name of heaven, what happened to you? It's okay, Charlie. I fell down some stairs. I'll be all right. Oh, we can handle your shit. I've got to do it myself, Charlie. It's a rough night for everybody. Things out there. Plan short approach. Rotate off, Lenny. I'll take it now. Hey, what happened to Frank? Airport tower, sun time 598. Am I on course? 598 on course. Clear to land, 31 right. Combine 346. Pass the galaxy on your left. Airport tower, this is Juno X 742 requesting permission to take off. It's crazy, cops. It's crazy. Wait for it to clear. Say again, Juno. Juno X-742, request permission to take off, northeast bound, New York. Taxi into position and hold, Juno. There will be a slight delay. Sun time 404, ready for takeoff. Sun time 404. Cut across 31 right. Follow that Juno X. Roger, Fairport. Juno X, move into runway position and hold. Juno X on runway position, holding. Sun time. Hold behind Juno for takeoff. What's the matter with them up there in the tower? Don't they know that jet could cut us to pieces? You don't worry too much, Joey boy. Are they going to let that 707 follow us in the rain? Well, what if they do? It goes off like dynamite, the 707. If they send them up after us, we could be swallowed like pigeons in a jet. Never hear anybody so worried. They know what they're doing in the tower, Joey. Nobody up there is trying to kill us. Juno X, prepare for takeoff. Roger, Fairport. No, no. Sometime, come up behind. No, what's the matter with you? Juno X-742, take off. Roger, Fairport. Let me out. Let me out of this thing. Ow! Oh! What the race, idiot. He jumped it. Sometime, take off. The jet's right behind us, Vince. All right, we go up and come back for it. Odds on the Tower, written by Richard McCracken and directed by Warren Somerville. In the cast, Frank Thomas, Ivor Francis, David Kerman, Gilbert Mack, and Yafet Koto. Audio engineer, Marty Folia. Sound technician, Ed Blaney. Script editor, Jack C. Wilson. Original music by Alexander Vlastovsenko. Orchestra under the direction of Glenn Osser. Executive producer for Theater 5, Edward A. Byron. We invite your comments. 
Write to Theater 5, New York 23, New York. This is Fred Foy speaking.